Today is a miraculous day. I'm thrilled to be alive, to be well, and to be reunited with my family. As a medical missionary, I never imagined myself in this position. When my family and I moved to Liberia last October to begin a two-year term working with Samaritan's Purse, Ebola was not on the radar. We moved to, to Liberia because God called us to serve the people of Liberia. In March, when we got word that Ebola was in Guinea and had spread to Liberia, we began preparing for the worst. We did not receive our first Ebola patient until June, but when she arrived, we were ready. During the course of June and July, the number of Ebola patients increased steadily, and our amazing crew at Elwa Hospital took care of each patient with great care and compassion. We also took every precaution to protect ourselves from this dreaded disease by following MSF and WHO guidelines for safety. After taking Amber and our children to the airport to return to the States on Sunday morning, July 20th, I poured myself into my work even more than before. Transferring patients to our new, bigger isolation unit, training and orienting new staff, and working with our human resources officer to fill our staffing needs. Three days later, on Wednesday, July 23rd, I woke up feeling under the weather. And then my life took an unexpected turn as I was diagnosed with Ebola virus disease. As I lay in my bed in Liberia for the following nine days, getting sicker and weaker each day, I prayed that God would help me be faithful even in my illness. I want to thank Samaritan's Purse, who has taken care of me and my family as though we were their own family. Thank you to the Samaritan's Purse and SIM Liberia community. You cared for me and ministered to me during the most difficult experience of my life and you did so with the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. Thank you to Emory University Hospital and especially to the medical staff in the isolation unit. You treated me with expertise, yet with such tenderness and compassion. For the last three weeks, you have been my friends and my family, and so many of you have ministered to me not only physically, but also spiritually, which has been an important part of my recovery. I will not forget you and all that you have done for me. And thank you to my family, my friends, my church family, and all who lifted me up in prayer, asking for my healing and recovery. Please do not stop praying for the people of Liberia and West Africa and for a quick end to this Ebola epidemic.